Hello, I'm Adam Barrowley and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal of chlorite in quartz. Now chlorite is this amazing healing crystal which works in many different ways. First of all, it allows the body to find its own optimum well-being and wholeness. It allows us to consider the holistic nature of our being and make sure that when we are having issues on the physical that we explore the emotional, mental and spiritual as well. It helps to activate the body's innate intelligence to bring the body back into balance because the body knows how to heal itself as long as it's given the right environment. Not only that, but chloride and quartz has been used a lot and extensively to help to remove toxins out of our body and out of our life. So whenever you're feeling out of whack, then you definitely want to grab some chloride and quartz. Now, the interesting thing is chloride is this green crystal and it's often found and most commonly found or most readily available, I should say, in quartz. Now, what do we know about quartz? Well, quartz is an amplifier of energy. And so this is obviously going to boost the healing capacity of the chloride. So I would go as far as to say that chloride in quartz is one of the master healer crystals. And whenever I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, this is a crystal I reach for. We all, to some extent or another, believe that we're relatively healthy, but there's always room to improve and up-level our health. Maybe you could get a few more hours of sleep or better quality sleep. Maybe you could improve the quality of food that you're eating or drink a little bit more water. Maybe the body could do with a little bit more movement or exercise. Well, think about what you'd like to adjust and up-level in your life when it comes to your health and well-being, and then program some chloride in quartz and place that around the house. Basically, just sit quietly, holding your hands over it or holding the crystal in your hands and visualizing what that looks like and what that feels like to up-level your health. And then it will help to hold up that vibration and uh, kind of dispel any unhealthy temptations that may come from time to time. In fact, this is a really great crystal for dispelling anything that might drag us down from our overall well-being. There is a bit of a practice of putting a bit of chloride in quartz in the cistern of your toilet. And each time you flush it, it flushes away not only your physical waste, but also all the energetic waste and all the things that no longer kind of serve you. You can also use it around spaces that feel a little bit haunted. Of course, when there are spirits or, or um, any kind of being that has an ill intent or a negative intent or even a, just a scary intent, then this can be a really great thing to get rid of because it stops you from feeling, um, you know, threatened or uncomfortable in any which way. Could be a good one around Halloween or Samhain. The other great thing this is great for is by wearing chloride and quartz, this is a pendant or carrying a piece in your pocket, it will help to dispel negative influences in your life in the form of people. Maybe there are people around you with negative attitudes that are always dragging you down, and when they dull your light, that obviously dulls your vibration and makes you more prone to getting sick or unwell. So, when you have this idea of what your optimal wellness is, it's not only about up-leveling and improving your own habits, but it's also about dispelling things that would drag you down the other way. Chloride in quartz will help you with both them. One thing I've noticed, and you may have noticed this as well, but some spiritual healers and clairvoyants and readers tend to be disrespecting their physical body. Now, when you think about it, we incarnated into this lifetime with this physical body. So if we chose our parents, and we chose our circumstances, we would not have chosen our body as well. Well, chloride in quartz helps us to respect that body, because when you think about it, this is the vehicle that drives us along the road of our life journey. If we are not physically well, then what does that do to our experience? We've all driven an old car before, it's been a bit of a bumpy journey, but hopefully you've had a chance to drive a really nice car as well. Chloride in quartz helps you to really respect your body and make sure that you treat it like a temple and the more, I guess, prime um, condition that your body is in, the more you're actually going to be able to evolve spiritually. If you are sometimes drawn to addictions or, you know, smoking or drinking too much alcohol or drugs or anything else that affects the physical body, then start working more with chloride quartz. It allows us to see this holistic picture that if we want to be a spiritual being and raise our vibration, we must look at how to raise our vibration on the physical level as well. If you need assistance with this or a bit of, I guess, discipline, then chloride and quartz is definitely a crystal to program with that and to help remind you of that each day. 
Hopefully you can be proactive and by working with chloride and quartz and setting that intention for optimum health and well-being, you don't find yourself getting sick as often or at all. However, if you do find that you end up facing either your own or someone else's sickness, illness or disease, then work with chloride and quartz. Chloride and quartz allows us to look at the holistic aspect of the body, to realise that the thoughts we are having, the emotions we are having and even what we are around spiritually can have an impact and manifest in the physical body. When we are sick, it can help us to not only just kind of cover up the symptoms, maybe by taking a pain relief tablet or, or a cream we're using some kind of masks or band-aids the issue, it allows us to look deeper and look at the root cause. Not only will it allow us to help to find and discover ways to heal ourselves on the physical level, but it will allow us to look at what is manifesting from those deeper levels as well. When we think about thoughts and emotion from the head and the heart, you know, these are energy, and we know that energy can't be created or destroyed, it only changes form. Now, when we have an emotion or a thought, we can either express it and get it out in the world in a healthy way, or we can repress it. And sometimes I like to think of repressed emotions and thoughts as vegetables in the fridge. So it's okay to keep something to yourself for a day or two, or maybe even a week or a couple of weeks, so you get a chance to really talk to someone you trust and express it. But if you keep that in there, and I think some of us may have some vegetables in our fridge, that have been there for a year, or a decade, or since childhood, and they fester inside. And that energy, if not released, can really kind of start to cause issues as we get older. Chloride in quartz is a really great one for helping you to find new ways of releasing and expressing these emotions and thoughts. And it's really great to maybe combine with some positive affirmations and really change your attitude about different aspects of your life that may be dragging you down. The good old book by Louise L. Hay, You Can Heal Your Body or You Can Heal Your Life, is a really great one to look at and use in conjunction with chloride and quartz. You may also want to call into the angelic realms, and this crystal works ideally with Archangel Raphael. Now, we all know Raphael being the healing angel, and when we have a physical ailment, many people will call upon Archangel Raphael. However, he is also the guardian of the element of air, and air represents the mental realm. So again, Raphael allows us to find healing on a holistic level by looking at how our thoughts manifest in our body. So bring Raphael together, look at some affirmations, and look at what else can you do in your life apart from honoring the physical body to improve your health and well-being, whether you're suffering from an ailment right now, or whether you just want to up-level your health. Either way, chloride and quartz with the assistance of Archangel Raphael be really quite powerful. Chlorite in quartz allows us to connect with the greatest healer of all, and that is Mother Earth. This is a crystal that reminds us and helps us to really experience the benefits of fresh air, sunlight, moonlight, quality food and water that is still natural and holds that vibration of nature. Try taking a chloride in quartz for a walk out in nature and allow the quartz to amplify and the chloride to really bring in the healing aspect of how amazing it can be to get out in the wilderness. It is also a really great crystal to just take some time to sit somewhere really peaceful in nature and connect with the healing wisdom of the planet as well. Now, especially if you're looking to up-level your eating and maybe you want to go to a more plant-based diet, vegetarian or vegan, this is a crystal that supports that belief as well. What I still notice how many vegans and vegetarians get quizzed about their choices and this really gives you strength and conviction on what you're doing and the choices of or your food choices that you've chosen. So remember that when you need to listen to Mother Earth and appreciate her gifts and really relish and celebrate her gift, chloride and quartz will give you strength and amplify your efforts. Now, when we're going through some physical challenges and our health is not at our best and we're really been leaning into chloride and quartz, it's really important to make sure that we're cleansing it regularly to bring it back to its optimum well-being so that it can help us with our optimum well-being. Now, I like to cleanse my crystals in different ways and chloride and quartz, I love to place upon the earth. If it's a piece like this, you could actually get away with burying it in the earth overnight. Just make sure you leave a marker so you can find it in the morning. Now you can also bring in other gifts and wisdom from the other kingdoms to work with this gift from the mineral kingdom. So I love working with the plant kingdom and the essential oil I adore with chloride and quartz is grapefruit. Now grapefruit as a citrus oil is absolutely amazing for helping us to honor our body. 
It helps to get rid of any um, tendency to inflict pain or suffering on our body, whether it just be eating badly or smoking or drinking too much, or whether it be something such as um, self-harm or, you know, bad diets that are definitely depriving our body of the nutrients it requires. Grapefruit reminds us of the value of our body for our physical well-being, but also our holistic well-being as well. The animal guide that comes in when I work with Boriding Quartz is the cow. Now the cow throughout many traditions around the world, whether it be in India or Egypt or anywhere else, is honoured for its nurturing ability. You know, many humans around the world still drink cow's milk and it's a very nurturing thing and the cow not only gives her milk, but often gives her body as well so that we may be sustained. You'll see that the cow represents in spirituality the great idea of the mother and the nurturing. And this is exactly what knowledge the cow can bring in when we take time to sit with our chlorite and meditate. She teaches us how not only to be nurtured, but how to nurture ourselves as well. Astrologically, chloride in quartz works with the great um, asteroid series, which again is another nurturing energy. The best day I find to work with chloride in quartz is Friday. So if you're gonna do anything powerful, like maybe programming the crystal with your intentions for better health and well-being, that would be really great. Another great time to work with chloride in quartz is whenever you're working with the sign of Virgo, which governs health and well-being, or especially the new moon or the full moon in Virgo is a great time to make those shifts for your health and well-being as well. Now, have you worked with chloride in quartz? I'd love to hear about your experience with it. Please share in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.